There's an incredible power to Bloodborne. It's not just an amazing dance of dodges and swipes through encounters that often push the limits of reflexes and endurance. It's a thought-provoking experience that wormed its way into my mind and over time melted my resolve. But through perseverance, patient growth, and determined skill, it's an unconventional adventure that ultimately gives much more than it takes, which at times can be a staggering amount. It's an awe-inspiring journey through the highest peaks of satisfaction and the deepest, blackest pits of exhausted desperation. But the only frustrations that don't turn into triumphs by the end are the technical ones. This amazing experience is capable of drawing out powerful emotions, and I'll remember that for years to come. Bloodborne's unconventional approach to action RPG gameplay walks a fine line between utter elation and despair. It chooses to tell you little about how to survive, expecting intelligence and perseverance in the face of its brutal, unrelenting difficulty. That balance is slightly upset by painfully long loading screens upon death, but the highs of taking down one of the intimidating bosses make up for those chunks of downtime. Bloodborne's semi-open world structure and hard-earned progression draw heavily from the Dark Souls and Demon Souls games that made developer From Software famous, though the aggressive new pace of combat is all its own. These diving, rolling melee battles, with an awesome arsenal of transforming melee weapons and tactical sidearms, chiseled away my calluses and made me form new ones, even as a hardened Dark Souls veteran. Switching weapons between their light and heavy modes on the fly to string together combo-like attack chains in an engaging way injects a newfound versatility, even if it's a less calculating kind of battle than From's earlier games. That doesn't make it any easier, though. Being overwhelmed by enemies is commonplace, but thanks to your ability to leech back lost health with quick counterattacks and stun opponents with secondary weapons, I found it's possible to sustain a constant onslaught when I'd built up enough skill. And these tools are absolutely needed, as Bloodborne's horrifying beasts span an imaginative range from pedestrian insane village folk to cosmic horrors and patchwork fiends. Creature design strikes terror in many ways, from enormous size, to fear of the peculiar, to subtle creepiness. But each entity is well-crafted and triumphantly threatening. Each careful, blood-soaked step through the stunning environments reveals something new about Bloodborne's vague and cryptic lore. Whispers and clues are everywhere, begging to be interpreted. Despite a frame rate that all too often buckles under loading new areas or heavy action, and the annoying inability to warp between checkpoints, the atmosphere retains its full effect. There's a sense that this strange and dark place is really alive. You could find a subtext of criticisms on real-world concepts like faith and worship, but taking each outrageously odd story point at face value is the much more enjoyable path. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood. And yet, each player's personal story will be created on their own terms, as they explore the spider web of paths and secrets. Everything is packed with hidden meaning. Spending time speaking with the forgotten citizens of Yarnham yields new ways to interact with the world. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. There's so much to do and see and try that I obsessed over finding every secret, which greatly extends Bloodborne's already lengthy 50 or 60 hours of playtime. Though that number can easily be extended in a new game plus, or the refreshing procedurally generated chalice dungeons. And though this is mostly an isolating and solitary experience, subtle cooperative elements enhance that in fascinating ways. Spotting shades of other players, reading warnings and tips left by people who've come before, and studying bloodstained shadows of the dead as cautionary tales are still immensely helpful. And though the rules are obtuse, Bloodborne's cooperative multiplayer allows you to call for help from another player when you need it most, but at the cost of opening yourself up to invasion from hostile players. Bloodborne is an amazing, exacting, and exhausting pilgrimage through a gorgeous land that imposes the feeling of approaching the bottom of a descent into madness. Though extended load times and minor frame rate hitches have an effect on the pacing, it's otherwise an intensely challenging and rewarding game. There's an incredible power to unlocking its mysteries and in succeeding, despite its demand for a pound of your flesh. For more on Bloodborne, stick with IGN.